Hi, I'm Jackie Alton from Green Aspirations and Green and Natural Living. And I know it's ages since I've done a video, but um, I thought I'd hop on and do a little bit of an introduction for people that don't know me. And I want to tell you about my ideas for a Facebook group. So I have been interested in green living, sustainable living, whatever you want to call it, for well over 30 years. Um, I have worked in various different um, fields, I suppose, um, from I started out being a trainee terrestrial ecologist, which meant I was learning how to do badger surveys, great crested newt surveys, plant surveys, ripperine surveys um, and all that. And I was um, involved in some really interesting projects. Then I ended up being um, doing admin at a company that collected refuse and recycling. Then I went on to be work for local government as a recycling and waste minimisation officer. And this was back in 2000, um, way before zero waste was a popular concept, um, way before we really knew the extent of the um, plastic pollution in the oceans um and things like that um i then went on when i had my children to be the lincolnshire real nappy coordinator and help set up the real nappy campaign again back in about 2003 so quite a while ago and um i've basically been living a green and sustainable life um for as long as i can remember really um here where i live on a small holding we have um, solar PV panels, solar hot water panels, we have a couple of wood burning stoves. Um, so, so yeah, so I've been interested in green stuff for a very long time. Um, I've used natural skincare products for, again, a long time, definitely sort of 16 plus years. Um, so yeah, so I know a lot about green living stuff. Um, I'm in a few um, groups on Facebook but they tend to specialise quite a bit. So I'm in some zero waste groups um, and I wanted to have a group that, or wanted to be in a group that covered everything sort of green and natural. Um, not just zero waste, because I, I have to put my hand on my heart and say I am nowhere near zero waste, which is part of the living in the beautiful Lincolnshire countryside. Um, we haven't really got a zero waste shop as such for, I don't even know whether there's even one in the county. Um, so it's not as easy to access green, um, not green, but zero waste items as it is in, um, say for example, London or Birmingham where you've got zero waste stores. Even my daughter told me that Norwich now has a zero waste store. So, but it's still quite a way for me to go to Norwich to do that. So a lot of the things that I do, zero waste have to be bought online and things like that. Um, Again, I'm very into organics um, and again, part of the problem with organics is going zero waste with organics can be quite difficult because I tend to go for organic milk from the supermarket, which is in plastic bottles um, and things like that. So um, I love TED Talks as well and I've recently watched a couple of really brilliant TED Talks. One is about draw down, which is a hundred solutions for um, reversing the CO2 emissions um, and climate change, which was a really interesting concept. And um, it sort of basically ranks what you can do in order of, of how much CO2 it will um, take out of the atmosphere or stop going into the atmosphere. And it's really, really interesting. And it's a concept that I'm trying to incorporate more and more. Some of the things I'm already doing for example, um, the electricity that we don't generate here on site, we get from good energy, um, which get all their um, energy from renewables and they put money into building more renewables and, and all that sort of thing. Um, and um, yeah, but I'll be covering that more about Drawdown in another video and in my new Facebook group. Um, and one of the other videos I've seen recently at climate change um, or about climate change is about getting people to engage with climate change. Because really, I know what it's like. Climate change is a really big 
scary thing if you look at it. Um, it's like the um, plastics in the ocean. When there was a, a documentary about that a while ago, and I was speaking to some people saying, oh, did you watch it? Because it was literally in that week. And some people were saying to me, no, I just couldn't, I couldn't face it. I couldn't, I, I knew it, it just upset me too much. Which I can see people's theory around not wanting to see things because if you don't see it you don't have to take responsibility for it and you don't have to do anything about it you can just go oh scientists government they will sort this amazing difficult thing out they will sort it out and then i will just do as i'm told but actually as we're seeing with all the climate um change demonstrations and things that are going on the government are not doing anything they aren't really taking on board anything from the the paris well, I don't know whether they're not taking it on board, but we're not seeing what they're doing. And the thing is, people like you and me can make an impact. We can make an impact by making different choices, but you have to know what the better choice is. Um, so if you don't educate yourself, if you don't watch the programmes about um, plastics or the damage the fashion industry is doing, although I will say one of the problems with those programmes is they tell you all about how terrible it is. They show you it all, how terrible it is in these countries. And then they, that's it. They don't actually say, they give you some of the solutions that big companies are doing and, and things like this, but they don't actually say, here are some things that you as an individual could do. Here are some charities as an individual that you could support that are doing great work, which is where I think they, they aren't helping the problem. They're just building the fear up and they're not helping with saying, but there are solutions and the solutions that every one of us could look at doing or bringing into our daily lives. Which is where I come in, in that I want to help people to know what to do for the best, to um, be given easy everyday solutions. For example, the um, renewable energy company that I use. Yeah, I had the hassle of switching from my old energy company to the new one. But then, since then, I haven't had to think about it. It's done. It it didn't take very long. It's relatively easy. Yes, it most probably costs a bit more than my the traditional fossil fuels, fracking type energy stuff. But I'm OK with that because I know that I'm supporting renewables. Same with organics. Once I find an organic product that's relatively easy to get locally, I've got it. I stick with it. And I just buy it every day, every week, whatever. But I know if you're not like me and mad about learning about green living and, and up to your nose in green stuff, then it's difficult. It's different. How do you know which is the best product, whether it's really going to make an effect, make a difference or have an effect? So this is what I want to help. And this is also where um, the Facebook group comes in, because another one of the TED Talks that I was just about talking about before I went off on a tangent. You know, if you've watched any of my videos, I'm great at going off on tangents and having a rant. So, hey ho, short videos just don't don't happen with me. So, um, this video was talking about how we can engage people into thinking about climate change and how they can help and how to engage them, basically. And it was also, the start of the video talks about how people disengage from it they distance themselves oh climate change happening over in Africa it's a long way away I don't need to think about it um head in sand type thing but one of the things it was saying was if you develop a community and again I think it used solar panels so when one person has some solar panels put on their neighbors tend to ask about it and have them put on as well and it's that sort of community um thing of a a bit of I suppose keeping up with the Joneses um, but it is that community thing and making it more acceptable. Um, so sometimes, and sometimes I've gone away from telling people about green living because I've just felt that it's too much and that people don't want to hear it um, and things like that. And I, I think part of the problem is because I don't have a really tight knit group of other people that are really into green living to give me a blooming kick up them and say come on you need to keep talking about this what you're doing is good what it is making effect blah blah, blah. then I've just gone oh I'll just keep doing what I'm doing but not telling me else about it and I want to change that because we need to change basically we need to change and I've heard some people talking about sustainable 
saying, oh, they don't like the word sustainable. But what, what isn't there to like? Sustainable, continuing on, you know. Um, and the thing is, I think being sustainable can be really fun and easy. Um, I know a lot of people share the, the flat lays on Instagram of zero waste stuff and things. Whereas I tend to, I have in the past showed my fingers full of so soil and my plants and things. And I'm not really, I do the occasional flat lay, which gets loads of likes, but I don't really, I'm not into flat lays. I'm not into a minimalistic lifestyle. My house is chaotic. I have two teenagers, a dog, a cat, and I'm doing so much stuff that my house is not very tidy. Um, and it's not the sort of flat lay place really. Um, it's more colours, colours, um, and a bit of chaos. And in my conservatory, I've got all my plants out that are growing there, all my little seedlings, and so it's all a bit. So what I want to do is I want to bring people together into a Facebook group where they can ask anything. Yes, they can ask about zero waste. Yes, they can ask about organics. Yes, they can ask about sustainable fashion, whatever they want to know about, and I will try and answer it. Um, I'd also really love to get other green living es experts in to do Facebook lives and chats with me um, and bits like that. So, but I want to bring people together so they can talk about green stuff and they don't, and also so they don't have to feel, I think sometimes zero waste and transition towns and things like that can be a little bit off-putting, a little bit overwhelming, a little bit scary. Because if you've got a, a wheelie bin that's like full to the brim every fortnight or whenever it's collected, to think, Lord, how do I get to zero waste? That is so much of a big thing. But maybe reducing it by 10%, that's doable. You know, looking at little things that you could change to get 10%. And then maybe once you got to 10%, maybe you then go to 25%. And little increments, rather than thinking you've got to go from 100% full bin to zero waste, that's quite a, a difference. But if we can do it in a community of sharing ideas and going, hey, yeah, 10%, that's brilliant this week. But then the next week you've gone up again. But that's good because you're trying and every little bit helps and moving little steps forward. Yeah, there will be steps back again, but it's it's all good. And doing it within a community as supporting and different ideas because I'm one person. Other people might have had experience with other things and got other great ideas and things. So let's come together in this green and natural Facebook group and actually support one another, have fun, have laugh, share our wins, share our losses, and just have fun going green, going green the easy and fun way and building friendships and community. Um, and yeah, supporting and sharing and all good things like that. So I've waffled on for ages. Thank you if you've got to the end of this video, then I'm really, really pleased and thank you and come over and um join my facebook group which is green and natural living i will put a link somewhere and um or if you don't feel quite ready to join the facebook group yet then come across to my facebook page which is green aspirations or i'm on instagram post a lot on instagram haven't for a little while but i do um which is jackie elton or green and natural living if you search for it on instagram um YouTube channel, I promise I'll do more videos on the YouTube channel. Quick, easy tips. Spring cleaning is is in the back of my head to do. Um, and yeah, come and let's have some fun going green, the easy and fun way together. So I hope to see you in the Facebook group soon. But if not, follow me elsewhere and um, have a lovely day. Take care. Bye bye.